All right, I've got another tutorial for you today, and this time we're gonna try to take a illustration like this and turn it into a repeatable, tileable pattern. So this is a, a vector illustration that I grabbed off Shutterstock.com, and these work well because each element is kind of um, isolated, so you can take each element off by itself and copy and paste them into their own document. Um, you don't have to use an illustration like this though. You can use different um, photographs or, or other drawings or anything you want to turn into a pattern. And I'm going to show you kind of a, a manual method, but it's a, a quick method on how to take something and turn it into a pattern. And we're going to use, um, we're going to, for an example, we're going to turn it into a Twitter background. So I've gone ahead and in Photoshop, I've selected out parts of that original um, illustration. So we're going to try to turn all of these elements into a repeatable um, pattern. So let's go ahead and create a new document. And we want this to be a, an average um, web page size for a background. So let's go ahead and do 500 pixels wide by 500 pixels tall. We're gonna leave the resolution at 72 pixels per inch and hit return or enter. And this is gonna be our, our canvas to create this pattern. So this bird is kind of the focal point. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring him on first. I'm gonna press control T to transform him and fit him on here a little bit better. Kind of like so. I'm gonna press control J because I wanna have two of these birds on here. So I'm gonna Press Control J, Edit, Transform, Flip Horizontal, and Control T again, and let's get a smaller uh, clone of our bird down in here somewhere. All right, so let's take this fern piece, and we're going to use this as as kind of a, a major part of the background. So let's go ahead, and I'm going to drag this layer on, and I'm going to set this layer behind all of the birds that we have copied. Press Control T. And I'm going to size it down just enough to fit on the canvas so I can see what I'm doing. And just like that. Let's go ahead and toggle off these two bird layers. All right, so if I was to just keep this where it's at, it would be tileable. It would be seamless, but we would just have this big um, leaf repeating with these two bird elements on top, and it would it would look much more just like an, uh, an, an image just repeated. It wouldn't look like an actual seamless pattern. So let's go ahead and give this some variety and we're going to cut this in half and get it to pattern, sorry, get it to tile on the left and right side. So use your rectangular marquee tool and select half of this fern wherever you want to cut it. Right click, layer via cut. Now what we just did is we just split this image into two separate layers. So what you want to do is the right side of this fern, you want to use your arrow keys and you want to cursor it to the left side of the document. Now if you hold shift, if you if you just press your arrow keys, the left arrow key, it will move in one pixel increments. If you hold shift, it will move in 10 pixel increments. So if you hold shift, you'll get there a little bit quicker. Now you don't want to pixel this up or down, just to the, the left. So let's go ahead and get it all the way to the edge. We want to make sure that there's no gap in between the um, the element and the edge and we don't want to go over the edge we don't want it to overlap so let's go ahead and, and do the same thing to our left side of the fern which is going to move to the right side of the page now there's programs that will do this for you but they're kind of expensive and this is a, a much cheaper way to do it if you already have Photoshop or any type of paint program that you can um, basically have a, a, a layer type effect so let's turn these birds back on and now let's grab this yellow uh, flower type element. I'm going to paste it above the fern onto our uh, our image here. Control V, Control uh, Control V here. All right. Now let's move this one into place and we're going to split this one to um, crop and repeat on the top and bottom of the document. So we're going to do the same thing and Let's see. So we probably want to just cut the bottom. So I'm going to use my rectangular marquee tool again, right about there, layer via cut. 
and the bottom half is going to move to the top of the document right behind that top bird and the top half will move to the bottom of the document and I'm just holding shift and pressing my arrow key and get that right on the edge now that I can see this taking shape I'm going to move this original bird a little bit so there's some breathing room around everything now let's bring in another element let's bring in this tree like element and I'm gonna go ahead and toggle all of these off because we're gonna split this one to fit in the corners so control V and if we're gonna split this to fit to tile in the corners we need to cut it twice basically so let's go ahead and I'm gonna size this down just a hair and we're gonna have to cut it twice so I'm gonna select the bottom half layer via cut okay so now we've got it split now the part that's going to tile on the x-axis we need to cut that again layer via cut now we need to cut the original top piece again so let's get our selection back I'm gonna zoom in so I can see what I'm doing get that right into place and layer via cut so now we should have split this into four corners see that as I hide them alright so now let's just move these into place so the top right corner will move into the bottom left and I'm just using my arrow keys and I'm cursoring this into place like so let's see what piece is this okay bottom left will go into top right So let's grab another piece and get the top left into bottom right and make sure that those edges are lined up perfectly with your document. And this last piece will go in the upper left because it is the bottom right piece. So once we get everything into place, we're going to test this. So I'm going to toggle everything back on and see how it's looking missing a layer okay I think that looks pretty cool so if you need to go back and adjust stuff then you you can either just bring in that that element again or say this yellow uh, plant thing we can actually just cursor it to the right or left as long as we don't move up or down we just kind of cursor that over so let's grab this last little flower piece for a little bit of a little bit more color added I'm gonna paste this in control T and rotate this and I think we'll put this into this little uh, negative space up here kinda like so alright so this should actually be seamless and tileable right now but let's go ahead and check it so I'm gonna hold shift and select all of these layers and I'm gonna press while holding shift I'm gonna press the little folder icon to group them okay now control J to make a copy of that group and I'm gonna press control E to go ahead and merge those um, elements together now let's go ahead and turn off the visibility of our background in that original folder press control A go to edit uh, define pattern okay let's call this bird pattern and I'm going to say transparent on the end so I know that the background is indeed transparent. Hit OK. Now it's testless. Let's go to File, New, and create a larger document. So let's do 1280 by 720, 72 dpi. Let's go ahead and give this a background color. So I'm going to give it a real light blue. Let's create a new layer. And let's see if our pattern is seamless. So go to edit fill make sure pattern is selected and it should be the last pattern on the list and there we go it's tileable it's seamless and it looks like it worked so we know that this indeed is a a, uh, a seamless image so now we can come back here to our original um, image that we put together and I'm gonna give the background some color just like that. Now let's save this for web. The shortcut is Control Alt Shift and S, or you can simply go to File, Save for Web. 
All right, let's turn this into a JPEG. I'm going to leave it at 100% for quality for now. I'm going to save this out somewhere. Call this my bird pattern. And there we go. Let's let it save, and then we'll get into Twitter and add it and see how it looks. So I'm at my Twitter page. Let's go to our settings. Go to design. And under background, let's select change background. Choose existing image. I have a ton of patterns in here that I've been making. So let's go to, let's find our bird pattern. There it is. Hit open. I want to make sure that tile background is selected and I'm going to hit save changes and we'll let Twitter think and then let's go back and see if it worked and there we go we have our new pattern image tiling our Twitter page so that is a real quick method on how to do that it is uh, manual but it's fun again you can use any elements you like you don't have to use um, this illustration but uh, if you do the link is in the description below and just have some fun with it try different stuff try anything you like you can uh, just turn them into patterns and just make sure that your where the pieces are, are cut off on the edges make sure that they're uh, cut in a way where they're tileable and you should be good to go all right I hope you get some use out of this um, and have some fun with it if you uh, figure out a, a pretty cool pattern Please send it to me via Twitter or something like that so I can check out what, uh, what you come up with. And I always enjoy seeing, seeing uh, other people's creative work and artwork. So, all right, take care, and I will talk to you later.